Let's be honest, for the first time in the history of auto making, we could say that the number of new electric cars that are expected to come out during one model year is quite high. American, European and Asian manufacturers are all rolling out models which are becoming closer to the ordinary drivers. But it's not over. We have great news for you that the family of EVs is expected to keep growing. And today we'll present to you a batch of the latest electric innovations and exciting upcoming models. Subscribe to Automotive Territory to stay up to date with EV news and enjoy the ride! Peugeot E208 The first all-electric production car from Peugeot is a compact hatchback that sits on a new generation common modular platform from the PSA Group. The CMP reduces the hatch's total weight and improves its aerodynamics. So far, the electric 208 was announced to come with a 136 horsepower electric motor powered by a 50 kWh energy dense battery that is warranty covered for 8 years or 100,000 miles. While it also feeds the cabin's heating and cooling systems, the battery has been claimed to provide up to 211 miles on a charge according to the WLTP test cycle. It can be replenished using one of three charging modes, with the time varying from 16 hours with the Grand Green Up socket to 30 minutes with a 100 kW public charger. The hatchback offers three driving modes, Echo for optimal range, Normal for everyday driving and Sport for the best performance with 0-60 to 60 time of 8.5 seconds. Pininfarina Batista Hypercars at motor shows are not something to be surprised about, unless they're all electric, of course. The Italian-designed and manufactured Pininfarina Battista, unveiled at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show, is just that. The state-of-the-art emission-free beast promises to be one of the fastest cars in the world, with 0-60 to 60 times standing under 2 seconds and the top speed of 217 miles per hour. The Battista uses a Monica carbon fiber body with dynamic design and butterfly doors. Its 120 kWh battery sends power to four electric motors, one at each wheel, which delivered the total output of whopping 1900 horsepower and 1696 pound-feet of torque. If somehow you are not still amazed, Pininfarina promises Batista to have a single charge range of 280 miles, with a fast charge to 80%, taking just 40 minutes. To emphasize the exclusiveness of the first Italian e-hypercar, only 150 units of Batista will be built. Fiat Centoventi Claimed to become the most open-minded automobile from Fiat, the concept Centoventi presents a revolutionary outlook on what an automobile is. Instead of packing the car with features wanted by the automaker, Fiat decided it is time to let the customers choose. The car gets a fully electric drivetrain and up to five underfloor batteries that do not affect the model's aerodynamics. One battery offers up to 62 miles of range, and depending on your driving needs, you can purchase or lease additional ones at any time. The exterior of the Centaventi is fully customizable. There are 256 color schemes and four roof options, including a solar panel roof. Its cabin is also fully modular, featuring a multi-layer dashboard, 114 Mopar-developed accessories and removable passenger seats. Plus, the tailgate can serve as a digital ad banner, earning you money while the car is parked. Mercedes-Benz EQV The portfolio of Mercedes electric vehicles is expanding with noticeable pace across all classes. One of the latest examples of the EV progress is the Mercedes-Benz EQV electric van concept, which almost resembles a production-ready prototype. The underpinnings of this MPV are a compact electric drivetrain with 204 horsepower at the front axle and a 100 kWh battery with a realistic 250 miles of range and rapid charging capability. Since the battery sits under the van's floor, the interior space is unrestricted and allows to fully implement the progressive luxury approach shared across all EQ models. The cockpit uses the new intuitive MBUX infotainment system and a digital dashboard equipped with innovative connectivity features and self-learning voice control. The Mercedes EQV sits 8 passengers, can reach 100 mph top speed and leaves no compromises with its elegant exterior looks. VW ID Buggy Among the barrage of new EVs and promising concepts that have recently been unveiled, we would like to highlight the oddball, which is the VW ID Buggy. It is based on the iconic Beetle Beach buggies of the 1960s and 70s 
and rides on the modular electric drive platform MEB, which will be shared among all VW EVs of the upcoming half a decade. This is the fifth ID model, powered by a 204-horsepower motor, which sends the might to the rear wheels. The buggy is focused on practicality, standing on the all-terrain tires, and its interior is not flashing fancy infotainment clusters. Just the fact that this concept exists proves that in the future we might be seeing more versatile and daring electric car models built on the shared platforms, since designers won't have to be restricted by the necessity to sell millions of vehicles. GFG Style Kangaroo The new concept by the Italian GFG Style is the work of the famous designers Giorgetto and Fabrizio Giorgiaro. The Kangaroo is what the creators call a hyper SUV, and it got its name for a reason. At the first glance, it's a regular supercar, dynamic, low slung, and designed specifically for track. And with a carbon fiber bodywork, 22 inch wheels, and beefed up powertrain, it indeed ticks all of the boxes here. The 90 kWh battery powers two motors, which net the total output of 483 horsepower and 501 pound feet of torque. This allows the concept to go from a standstill to 60 in 3.8 seconds and achieve the electronically limited 155 mph top speed. However, one thing that makes Kangaroo unique is its hydraulic suspension that has three selectable modes – racing, road and off-road – and it can adjust ground clearance accordingly from supercar-like 5.5 inches to Toyota Land Cruisers like 10.2 inches. If you want to support the electric revolution, make sure to watch this video till the end and share with your friends. Moreover, we would like to suggest you to check out other episodes about electric vehicles. The links are in the description. Let's continue. Ital Design Da Vinci At the first glance, this Italian Grand Tour is slightly reminiscent of the brand's previous creations for BMW and Lotus, but actually, its design is 100% original. The four-seater has beautiful sloping roofline, active rear spoiler, 22-inch aluminum wheels wrapped in Pirelli P0 tires, and large gullwing doors that allow easy access to both rows of its cabin. The interior of the Da Vinci was designed in partnership with Alcantara, so naturally it is performed using the highest quality fabrics from the brand. The powertrain specifications for the concept remain undisclosed, but it has been announced as all-electric, featuring twin e-motors and a floor-mounted battery. We must also mention that for those who are not ready to go electric, the GT's platform also allows it to be fitted with a 4.0-liter V8 engine, transmission, and an all-wheel drive. Citroën Ami 1 Citroën is joining the ranks of 100-year-old automakers in 2019, and to commemorate the occasion, multiple concept vehicles that will represent the future of the brand have been released. One of such newcomers is the Ami 1 which is expected to serve as a disruptive all-electric vehicle that will provide a strong alternative to public transportation. Fleets of two-seat Amy's will become a part of the shared mobility service, available to any person over 16 years of age, even without a driver's license, and the CV will have 62 miles range. Besides high level of autonomy, the safety of the CV will be enhanced by the restricted top speed of 28 miles per hour or 45 kph. The Amy 1 is expected to be available through Citroën's free-to-move mobility brand and would be booked through counters at malls and city centers. Sad Mini Mo With the growing city populations and ever-increasing numbers of vehicles on the roads, a personal car slowly becomes a burden. For this reason, it is understandable why some manufacturers are investing in compact urban mobility initiatives. For example, VW Group Sad is releasing a competitor to the Renault Twizy, a two-person hybrid of a car and a motorcycle. The Minimo is ready not to fit in the parking lots. The asymmetrical doors open upwards and it is just 8.2 feet long and 4 feet wide. Though the range limit is just 62 miles, the microcar utilizes swappable battery technology, which allows to seamlessly continue the commute within minutes. The EV is expected to be equipped with the fourth level of autonomy, will be compatible with Android Auto, and shall be able to follow voice commands. Aston Martin Laganta All-Terrain The 2019 Geneva Motor Show was not stingy with the new EVs, and one of those reveals is the Laganta All-Terrain concept from Aston Martin. The stretched-out SUV is inspired by the last year's limousine-like concept 
called Division, but unlike that concept, the all-terrain will actually see production lines by 2022. The model will be fully autonomous and electric, sitting on a skateboard vehicle platform fitted with two electric motors, a battery spread out under the floor, and an all-wheel drive. This powertrain is expected to offer at least 400 horses and 400 miles of range. In addition to being off-road capable, the car gets exotic rear-hinged coach doors and galwing roof parts that open into a luxurious cabin with swiveling front seats and large rear seats with fold-out leg rests. Sad Alborn As most car makers already have one or more electric models in their stables, the Spanish brand is doing its best to keep up. The first fully electric Sad is a compact hatchback that is built on the Volkswagen's modular MEB platform and is expected to hit the market by 2020. The model is powered by one 204 horsepower motor paired with a 62 kilowatt hour battery. This should be enough to drive for 261 miles without stopping to recharge. Sad's battery is compatible with a fast charger, which means that you will need only 47 minutes, just enough for a quick lunch, to replenish 80% of its capacity. Sad calls the new Alborn a sporty hatchback as it is able to speed to 60 in 7.5 seconds. To improve performance, the car gets an integrated double-layer rear spoiler, large air intakes to cool the battery, and a set of 20-inch wheels. So what do you think about this new batch of electric cars? Have you singled out some interesting models that you wish to be released the soonest? Share your thoughts in the comment section and proceed to liking this video, sharing with your friends and subscribing. Automotive Territory channel will be here with more EV news shortly. May the torque be with you!